Hey guys, this is Rocket, and I have Rainbow sitting here with me. Hi! Um, today we're going to do a quick video over the different types of fabrics that you can use for plushie making. Um, we're doing this as a video for beginners, as we've been asked numerous times what's, what the difference between fabrics are. So today we're going to show you Fleece, Cuddle Soft, and Minky. And the reason why we wanted to do this is because we wanted to show you the difference in how they stretch and how they affect your patterns. Starting with fleece, fleece is by far the stretchiest you can work with. Rainbow's going to demonstrate that. See how badly that stretches? Yeah. It is a pain to work with. <laughs> but as a beginner, we would recommend you starting off on this just so you can work on patterns. However, we will show you how they affect your patterns as we move along here. Next, Cuddle Soft. Cuddle Soft does stretch, but is not as stretchy as fleece. And then we have Minky, which is a professional's choice of fabric to use for plushies. It does have a little stretch, but not much. Okay, so how do these different types of fabrics affect your plushies? Well, starting off with fleece, this is one of our first ones that we started off with as a pattern. As you can see, it's kind of broader, and that's because the fabric stretches. Okay, next to it we have our Cuddle Soft pattern, which is by, by, any means is the same pattern. All three of these are the exact same pattern, okay? This one on the end is Minky. Can you see the difference between all three of these patterns? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. You can start off with fleece, but having this pattern doesn't mean you're going to end up with that, okay? And it can be a real pain to go from, trust me, because I've, I've gone from fleece to minky. It's it's a real pain to keep revising your patterns just so you can go down to minky and everything is completely different. So if you have the money to start off in the minky and you have the investment to be able to do that, I would recommend it. But if you're just doing this for a hobby and it's something you just want to do one time, then you could make pattern in the fleece or the cuddle soft. Okay and the thing with cuddle soft that we've noticed too is it's good fabric but as you can see we don't have this fully stuffed. It was the exact same pattern but we had so many issues with it and that's because it has a habit of tearing. Not because of when you sew. The fabric itself falls apart very easily. It's exactly what it did though. You can see there's a hole and there's a hole here and it just separated. Okay, so these are all things that you have to be aware of when you're starting off. And don't give up. It takes a lot of practice. It's very time consuming and this is why we tell everybody a lot of love goes into these plushies and it really does because we've, as you can see, gone from trial and error to what we have today. So I wish you guys luck in the future. I hope this video has helped you just a little bit and we hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.